Hi all and welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me again for this year. I hope your years are all starting off to a great start and you're making the most of the year to come. Traditionally what I like to do at the start of the year is go to the gym a lot more and also switch to a more healthier diet to kickstart off my year. But this year I thought that I would do things a little bit differently and start in my wardrobe. I'm going to be organizing through my lingerie wardrobe and decluttering anything that I think is no longer put to good use. I will also be showing you how I store and care for my cashmere and delicate items such as wool and silk and how I store them away. If you like this video please give it a little like and I will see you in a bit. I'm going to start with my underwear drawer, which is probably the messiest part of my wardrobe as I tend to just throw them all in when they are finished in the dryer. In one drawer I have the more casual everyday underwear that I wear for work, the gym and everyday use. In the second drawer I have a more delicate and luxury underwear that I tend to wear more occasionally. Underneath that drawer is a larger drawer that my partner uses and it has a whole range of things squished inside, mostly jeans and shorts. And the last drawer is my jeans drawer which just has jeans all rolled up. I put all my clothes on the bed so I can see everything in each drawer and I sift out anything that has crept its way in and should not be there. I'm starting with the everyday drawer and I'm going to roll these items as I think they will fit better in the drawer size. So just folding in half and then rolling. I'm deciding what I also don't wear much of and discarding those items. This shapewear is the only one of its type. It is great for date nights and when wearing hugging dresses. It has ink stains on it but I'm not bothered as it is never seen on the outside of the clothing. So folding it in half and then rolling up. With the tights, I am rolling them into themselves as they store better and don't get tangled up with each other or other clothing. I found some random underwear that had massive holes in them and I have not worn them in ages and decided to throw them out. When I find small ankle socks in my drawer, I tend to store them in the shoes that I wear them, like my ballerina flats. It's easy to grab and go, and they don't take up that much space. Next I'm doing my fancy underwear, which does not require much folding, but I wanted them to look pretty in the drawer. So I opened them up and then folded the straps inward and stacked them on top of each other. I later decided to do the hooks at the back to make them more secure when I'm taking them in and out of my drawer. Thank you. 
With the underwear, I am just folding them both sides and then tucking them in at the bottom. This is kind of an added step, but I like my nice lingerie to smell fresh and I use this fragrance. It's my favorite bedtime scent. It is Idel by Lancome and I just give the items a little spray before putting them back in the drawer. These jeans I've owned for a few years, they've been all around Europe with me and they are well worn. Unfortunately now they have a huge rip in the crotch area and I think it is too obvious to repair. I recently bought a similar style so I'm throwing away these ones. I had some jeans that still had the label on them and I took the labels off and then folded them all together in the jeans drawer. I decided to fold them this time around as I think that it will utilize the space and stop the drawer from jamming as much. The last section that I'm going to focus on is my bedside drawer and I have decided to just take everything out and give it a little bit more of a tidy up even though I do tend to keep this one quite 
tidy as I am using it every day and I find it a lot easier to keep it tidy but I just gave it a little bit of a freshen up and removed anything that I didn't need. So when taking care of cashmere, wool or silk, I like to wash all of my items separately in a tub like this, a standard sized tub that you can pop everything in of light colours and just wash and control the water temperature and also how much detergent you're pouring into the tub. Always look at the care label on the fabric to find out exactly how you should be caring for your item. Another thing I noticed about cashmere is when you're washing it you should always wash from the inside out if you are using a machine because that will avoid piling on the fabric and only wash 100% pure cashmere when you really need to wash it. If you do have a stain on it but unless the fabric is soiled or if the uh, fabric has a really strong odor that will not air out then you would wash it but if the fabric has only a very mild odor it will eventually just uh, cleanse itself because it is a very natural fiber that tends to release odors over time Over time your fabric will get piling and that is unavoidable. It happens with friction and just wear and tear but you can use a fabric shaver to shave all this off or if you have the time you can go in with the scissors and cut the surface. What I would not recommend doing to a fabric like this is pulling at it because that will encourage more of the piling to happen and it will pull off a lot more fabric than what you anticipated. So that is how I tidy up my wardrobe. It is really good to do this seasonally just to go through everything and see what you no longer need and just give it a really good refold so it's nice and organized and it makes you feel good and really optimistic every time you do it. I certainly do benefit from doing this seasonally but sometimes we get a bit slack and we leave it to be a little bit messy so it is a little bit more of a chore doing it when you leave it longer. Obviously. Thank you so much again for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.